If you want to hold them, you're welcome to. If you don't, that's fine. What is it about the cicada that bugs people? I don't want it. <laughs> They're creepy. Oh my God! You have a cicada on your butt. Like it or not, here they come. We are going to have the collision of something like maybe 4 billion, maybe 10 billion, maybe a trillion tiny insects with 30 million human beings. And this is the only place on planet Earth, even in the universe, that this happens. So that's what makes this thing so special. Mike Raup has been waiting 17 years for the emergence of the brood 10 cicadas in the eastern U.S., from New York to Indiana to Georgia. You both get pretty excited about this. Oh, these are one of the coolest insects out there. <laughs> He and his wife, Paula Shrewsbury, both PhD entomologists at the University of Maryland. There's one right there. Are marking the occasion with cicada t-shirts, earrings. You can never have too much cicada bling. <laughs> even cicada cookies. More about that later. The last time Brood 10 appeared was 17 years ago when people were logging onto Facebook for the first time. The movie Lord of the Rings won 11 Oscars. Get out of our way! Stop! And no one was keeping up with the Kardashians. The cicadas have been underground, living on tree sap. And now, as the ground temperature hits 64 degrees, they're making their way to the treetops to mate. The cicada's mating song will loudly announce their arrival. It's going to be anywhere between 80 and 100 decibels. That's the sound of a lawnmower engine. That's the sound of jet airplanes going overhead. So we've got an airplane going overhead right now. You've compared the sound of cicadas to this. They're going to be louder than this. Louder than this. Chip, they're going to be louder than this. Oh, it's flying! Yay! That did great! Last week, some lucky families got to visit with some of the first cicadas of 2021. I am the Cicada Lord! In a program at Hidden Oaks Nature Center in Annandale, Virginia, led by naturalist Suzanne Holland. This is a good way to start getting used to them because they're going to be crawling out whether you like them to or not. Holland explained how the cicadas shed their skin and then start climbing the trees or a conveniently located human. Their goal is to reach the tree branches where they will mate, lay eggs, and then die. Two weeks later, the eggs will hatch, the young will tumble to the ground, and the whole 17-year cycle will start all over again. And it's just one of the most spectacular phenomenon in all of nature. They're not going to bite. They're not going to sting. They're not going to carry away small children and dogs like the flying monkeys in the Wizard of Oz. That's not going to happen. I think they're really cute. They're adorable. For the next few weeks, it will be like an all-you-can-eat high-protein buffet for everything from fish to turtles from ants to opossums. Many dogs and cats will find them too tempting to resist, too. And yes, so will some humans. I don't know how they would enjoy it. I think a cicada would probably taste like a cricket, but, but a lot bigger. We decided to get in on the buzz. Hello, professors. Good, Good to see you again. Good so, morning. It looks like an elegant picnic. What's on the menu? Well, you know, just like grade school, it's 10 o'clock. It's time to have some milk and cookies, Milk Chip. and cookies. Choose your cicada cookie. OK. They're going to be delicious. Always eat around the edges first, and you save the cicada for last, just like an Oreo. <laughs> One, One, two, three. Okay. Mm. Crunchy. Oh, Very Crunchy, good. Crunchy, mm. sweet, delicious. How about a toast? to Cicada Emergence. To Cicada, cicada Emergence. emergence. Woohoo! Cheers.